chat, welcome to Spooptober Horror Games. Today we have a collection of just whatever random horror games have been found and sent my way. And uh, a lot of these have been found by some of my mods and friends. Hang on a second. I have a game here that seems pretty interesting. This one's called Fear Underground, and it's a demo. Fear Underground. Resident Evil. So it looks like John Dark Soul is at the bottom of some kind of pit. So yes, Jeff recommended this one for a very specific reason, which is Crawl. What were the controls again? I missed them. Oh, fuck. All right, never mind. Oh, God. Where am I? What's that nasty smell? The stench. The dead bodies. Could this be a dream? I got drunk in a tavern the day before and passed out. Or I got knocked out. This is amazing. I don't remember anything. My head is splitting. What the hell? You die? <laughs> what? If you could crawl on the ground like a baby, it would be so beautiful. Crawl like a gerbil into Richard Gear. How do you overcome this obstacle? I've always hated cursed insects. Just like it. This is a, a really... I want to laugh, but I also kind of like this a little bit. This is a really interesting concept, and the visuals are pretty good. They get a little. Apparently, this place is a labyrinth. The frame rates skip a little bit. Jerk. Dungeon crawling. This is a true dungeon crawler. Is that a hand? Is this strange hand telling me to go back? Why? Oh fuck, dude. Uh-oh. Oh, this is gonna be very fecal unfunny in just a moment. Little, little jank walking backwards like that, but... Oh. 
well, there's like kind of no need to go down that way, huh? When we're just gonna crawl towards the light like a baby. Someone just said bad jokes in coming. Well, like colonoscopy jokes? I already made the gerbil one, so. What are these nasty creatures? Is this real? It's all in your head, Luigi. Now what? See, like a skull face. The, like, the beautiful thing about modern game engines, fuck you, Unity, is, um... I mean, even Unity before it turned to, uh, Greed. But the, the amazing thing, and I've, I've said this so many times, is... Just thinking about, like, all the shit I've played over the years. Like, I, I mean shit. Or just some weird concept someone came up with. It's so much easier now, these days, to make a game like this look incredible, visually. I mean, it's not the best looking game I've ever seen, but you gotta admit, this is a pretty nice looking game. I might find this useful. I mean, wrist aside. I'm tired of climbing through this labyrinth of madness. What are these? Sharp swords? I understand. I must back up. <laughs> oh, the monologue is great. Oh my god. I'm about to be crushed by the ceiling. Oh my god. <laughs> Am I floating? Yeah, a little bit of floating. Oh my god, I'm about to be crushed by the ceiling. Oh, I'm so manly and chadly. I think I'd be able to stop the ceiling with my pecs alone. I think I sound like Giga Chad. Dead end. But there's a passage. With a very low ceiling. Can I try lowering it? Spider, spider, spiders! <laughs> what could be more disgusting? It remains to understand who kidnapped me and why. What are their goals? This reminds me of Temple of Doom. Nut up or shut up is what I always say. God, what a place this is. I can't handle this. <laughs> wait. Wait a minute. You can't panic. This reminds me a little bit of Cube, too. I'm not alone here. That means there's hope. Thank you for playing our demo. Okay, that was kind of fun. I liked it. I don't know if I'd want to play a whole game like this. But I give it credit for looking pretty goddamn good. And having like a creepy claustrophobic atmosphere. And, and actually an original concept. Why not? Because I don't know if I'd want to crawl for like four hours. We'll see if it can deliver on the concept. And expand upon it a little bit. I might be down to play it when it comes out. Let's see what happens in a year or two. But 
It's just so strange. Vinny, Metroid Zero Mission had crawling. This is nothing special. Okay. <laughs> uh. Okay. Um. Let's see, chat. What do we want to play next? Let's try this Holston game. Again, a lot of this stuff is on Steam. This is stuff that's been recommended by many of you. Uh, by Jeff, uh, Jackal, some of my other mods, but mainly the chat has submitted a lot of stuff. Like, I've seen Holston submitted like three or four times. So... Tunnel, um, combat mechanics. Uh, we'll, we'll try the, the the house first. Okay. Oh, whoa. Not what I was expecting. It's like Captain Toad, but Resident Evil. Is that a duck? Oh, that's a duck painting. I like this game. Door stuck won't open without a narrow tool. Entry phone is mounted into the wall. All right. Broken key is jammed in there. What's that writhing noise? Trying to find things. Can't leave without the blueprints. Um, any note on the table? Oh, God. Inspect the surroundings, look for clues. This not there to help you. 2137. I know what the writhing is now. Huh? Gotta find a light bulb. Oh, wonderful. Got coral growing in the kitchen! <laughs> Hello? Ktoś tu jest? Hey! Uh... Proszę, wysłuchaj mnie. Potrzebuję twojej pomocy. Czy ty... Czy ty jesteś pan Bartek? Co? Wujek... Wujek pan Bartek? Ten, co chodził z notatnikiem i pytał o różne rzeczy? E, tak, to ja. Wujek pan Bartek. To, to ja, Maciek. Maciek? Maciek, czemu wszędzie jest tak ciemno? N nie wiem, naprawdę. Ta, Ta pani! White dress lady messed with the electricity. Jest tutaj. That's why it's so dark everywhere. Yeah, the atmosphere is amazing. of plates with folk patterns. What is the name of this game? It's called Holston. H-O-L-S-T-I-N, I believe. 
Where's that phone? Oh, right, right, it was in here. It's a lot of goo. No power. Nic tu kurwa nie jest zwykłe. Nothing fucking unusual. Posłuchaj, jeśli zależy ci na tej durnej mapie, która doprowadzi cię do tego twojego Bartka, rozejrzyj się, spróbuj wszystko oświetlić najlepiej jak się da. Ta masz, może coś z niego być? Już z nim gadałem. Gratulacje. Dzieciak rozgryz, nadążasz? A prąd mieszka w tej buczącej, uważaj tam na siebie. Tu jest straszny rozpierdol. O mój Boże, świcona zamiast tym zrobić, masz... It's insulting this guy. Why does Tomas look like Beetle? Someone said, wait till you try chapter two, your mind will be blown. I look forward to it. Sized. Sink is inoperable, it's clogged with ooze. No dobra. Potem se pomyślałem, poszedłem do... Jaki hałat? Nie mogę ci powiedzieć. Pamiętam tylko tyle, że wbiegłem do salonu... Room hit under the couch. Ugh. Um, anything worthwhile in here? No, just some more scum. Really enjoy that scum. Well, the good news is, once the ooze is gone, it's gone. Um, but yeah, I mean, the game looks amazing, and I wouldn't... Yeah, telephone card, um, healing item. This game is full English voice acting, does it? Graphics are on high. Uh, English, text, oh, look at that. Oh, no, well, it's Polish for the moment. So hiding under the couch in the living room. Uh, okay. Game is like, are you, are you dumb? Here's a hint. Move stuff around. Okay. All right. Um, I'm, I'm trying here, chat. I'm moving stuff. See, I moved something. The chair, it just broke. You ever run into a chair and the chair broke? Uh, the lamp, huh? Okay. Where, where are we going? The electrical box by the front door. Padlock here. Um, they mentioned the couch, but door stuck. I need a narrow tool. Okay, so I need a narrow tool to open that. I'm sorry, my brain power is not at best at the moment, uh, as you can clearly see. Oh, oh,
Okay, that makes sense. For some reason, I process that as the bulb doesn't work. Which is very stupid of me. Old knife. I won't take thinks from grandpa's and grandma's room, especially when they lock the door. Wujek, pan Bartek? Maciek? Ty tutaj? <laughs> Powiedzmy, że jestem bardzo dobry w chowaś, nie dlatego pani od białej sukienki mnie nie znalazła. Ah. Spróbuj schować się pod kanapą w salonie, to tam się najpierw schowałem, ale... Long scratches on the floor. I certainly love destroying pieces of, of like, people's homes. I mean, I guess the ooze did plenty of that on its own. What does Kuriva mean? It means fuck. Yeah, I figured it was something like that, wouldn't it? Wouldn't it be? Use the knife. Oh, uh, this is for individual, like, specific rooms now, I guess. So that's red. We'll put it in the yellow. No, the ooze does come back, yeah. Looks like I was, uh, I was a little bit wrong there. Ah, there you go. And there's a little hint about moving furniture, too. Whomst would have thumpsted. Catch all in the kitchen drawer. Stink. Kurva. Kurva. There. Okay. Remove the root of evil from my body. I join the penitent mass. The penicular one. It was in bloodstained. Uh, blo what is it called? <laughs> Blasphemous. Same type of game. Uh, yeah, the, the, again, the mood here, the atmosphere here is like, perfect. But I do want to check out that combat stuff. I want to see um, demo two in just a moment. Dirty armchair, cigarettes, and yep, upholstery. Guess we unlocked. Oh, nice, cool. Charred hand. Very nice. Oh, fuse.
So we can do that. We can do that. And we can also do uh, green. I would ima imagine that's probably the thing that must be done. Sorry to, for taking the fuses, I freaked out when the white dress lady came. I also took any bulb I could find and crack and scare her out. Smart. <laughs> really smart. And helpful. Need that lamp, uh, the bulb again, rather. Pile of shattered light bulbs, crushing electrical fuses. Crushed electrical fuses, seemingly pounded with a blunt tool. Aluminum shower. Droplets of water trickled down the house. Kurva. We need the other power. She's gonna say, hey, fucking asshole. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's about right. Na pewno byłeś w każdym pomieszczeniu i zabrałeś wszystko, co się da. Może da się jakoś sprawdzić, czy wszędzie zajrzałeś? Nice to have someone just like hurl a like nastiness at you. She's right, you missed an entire room. Someone just said I can fix her. Luck chat member. What entire room did I miss? Did I miss a downstairs room? the locked door. Oh yeah, I do have a key now. Bedroom? So it's not that. That light bulb is necessary, otherwise you can't go upstairs. Um... Hmm. Can you use the bulb as a fuse? No. Not that I'm aware of. Do we want blue and red? Try pushing or dropping for the stairs. No, no, no luck here. However, we've got some... something going on here. Uh, don't know if this is going to help very much. Hey, Pops! You have the bedroom key. Ah, oh, yes, I do, don't I? An almost empty bottle of vodka seems to be put here intentionally.
bizarre pile of furniture. Children's bunk bed. Um, I can't quite get to the the lamp. Yeah, again, I mean, there's a, a part of me that just wants to uh, go to the go to the second part. It's not that this isn't cool. I mean, I'm somewhat invested in this, but it is also just a, you know disconnected demo. Um. The sunken cost fallacy. Well, I want to play as many horror games as I can tonight. So, I might have to. Vinny, you should. This takes a while. That's all I needed to hear. Well, it it is cool. Um, I recommend maybe checking it out yourself. Let's do the tunnel. Press F to interact. Why skip? Um, because again, it's a demo. I, I understand people sometimes want me to just, like, you know, go through all the dialogue, but, uh... I have, like, six other games I want to check out, so... I'm just kind of... It was teaching you the combat. Oh, fuck. Alright. I do love the way the game looks. Like, uh, the weird... visual style is... Growing on me. Dude, how do you do that? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Now, is this the one where you shoot? Chat? Or is this, um... Eventually? Yes, okay. Be sure to look around if you feel like you missed something of value. Some interactions are only accessible from certain angles. Yeah, we kind of figured that one out. Lubricants and grease. Okay, we got a flashlight. Okay, so it looks like battery is limited for the flashlight. Uh, okay, so chat, I am no longer dropping frames. I feel like Twitch the past week has been awful. There's just been so many mini risings the whole week. So yeah, I'm just I'm just waiting for the game to blow my mind. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm wasting battery. That's right. Um, yeah, I think the the problem is if a chat member says 
Vinny, the game's gonna blow your mind. I, I kind of... You know, I'm waiting for it. I mean, it looks cool. And it's trying to, like, it's just basically an interactive gameplay demo, the second part, I think. Samym skradaniem to pan... Ale nie bój pan żab. I jak pan przeczytasz, to zapraszam. Był. No to pan raczej będziesz wiedział. Chyba pan żart. <laughs> Chociaż jak to mówi dzisiaj... Ow. Oh. Almost dead. No, no, it's fine. It's fine. We're gonna be. We're gonna be okay. It's a dodging tutorial. Oh. No, do jasnej kurwy nędzy. Oh. Left, left, down, right, right. Oh, I see. If you do the button inputs, you can get out of the thing quicker. But you can still get out of it. Oh, shit. Alright. Okay, I made it. thing. Okay. Kicking has been unlocked. You died. Healing item here. Yeah. Um. Okay. We'll we'll just keep going. Listen again. It is dishing out some lore, it's trying to get you enticed and interested in the story. Oh. Is the old man getting worse? Yeah, I, it is because um, I just want to get to the the shooting because that's apparently the mind blowing part. And, um, yeah, I probably should have started with this part of the game instead of the first part, if I was just going to skip that anyway. He's going to be so underwhelmed. No! They, they told me it was going to be mind-blowing. I mean, I want to give it a fair shot, too, because... Uh, Again, there's so much here that is amazing. It's got, like, one of the best visual styles I've seen. And the technology's great, so, you know. That's worth my time. Dodge and kick to avoid enemies. Please wear gun. Yeah, I know. You don't understand. I need the gun. I need to shoot. It's been too long since I was playing Doom. Proszę, proszę. Aż dziwna. A no tak. Jeszcze jakieś musimy porozmawiać. Talk about energy. Okay, there's gonna be energy consumption. I see where the gun. I see where the gun is. No dobrze. Teraz możemy rozmawiać o tej energii. 
Otóż widzisz pan, na dole masz pan taki biały... Jaki pasek? No, o czym na pewno? Ja... Ok, there's a stamina bar, got it. You have to stay still. If you stay still, you get the stamina very, very quickly compared to if you're moving around. Dude, why'd you do that? You punch me in the face. Come on. Something like this chat is better for a pre-record than a Sunday stream. That's why the pre-records have been useful. Because I'm not worried so much about, like, attention spans. I'm just worried about my own interests as well. And, like, to be fair, I think something like this deserves the attention. But it also... Um, I should have started with this segment because I'm I'm already over it right now. But I was also in a haunted house for a short amount of time, compared to uh, the at least yeah the house was good though it had atmosphere it was cool it was scary good uh, good tentacles <laughs> that's all I ever need it really is just good tentacles you can quote me on that oh there we go Chad we got it the gun. And there's herbs, too. Okay, there we go. I, so... It's, it's cool as fuck. I wouldn't say my mind is blown, but I would say it would it would definitely be worth it to check that out. Like I'm glad I did because it's it's really fucking amazing that you can just do that. Wow. Nails. How many inches are those? Small pouch, inventory sizes increased, nails. Tells you how to make healing. It uh, probably also tells you how to... Oh, we got that. Um... Gunpowder and nails is is the ammo. I'm aware of Signalis. That's been recommended a lot too. That's one of the other ones that I get um, a ton of recommendations for a lot. I mean, I've had people request full playthroughs of it. And I looked at it, yeah, and it's amazing. I, I played a demo of it. I think, a couple of years back. But yeah, the, the way that the stamina system works... Like, even aiming takes stamina, which I actually kind of object to a little bit, truthfully. And it takes a good amount of stamina. Um, I'm not sure how I feel about that. Punishes bad aim. Yeah, I guess so. I just know I get winded whenever I point anything at anything else, so... Yeah. 
Yeah, Resident Evil 4, this is not. What the fuck? Uh, Chad, I think I, I... I think I'm good. It's called Halston. I, I see that there's probably more guns. Um, I wouldn't say by any means that that was not worth my time. Because it was. It would have been worth my time more if it was just me playing that on my own. Not on a Sunday stream. It wasn't particularly scary. But the tech is amazing, and uh, I understand why people are mind blown by it because the fucking zooming in on the camera like that is is incredible. So yeah, uh, interesting game. Sorry if I gave it a little bit of the shaft there, and you wanted more from me playing it, but it, it is cool. I I saw it. This one's called Tenebrous Somnia. It's another game on Steam. And um, it looks a little Mortis-esque. I don't know how Mortis it's going to be, but every night I have the same nightmare. I see my ex-boyfriend being killed by horrible creatures. I didn't talk to him again after we broke up, but these dreams don't let me rest. I tried to contact him without success. I still have the key to his apartment. His apartment's on the third floor. I always hated this fake living room. It looks like the decoration of a cheap talk show. I mean, it's faith-ish in the sense that it's got... Um... <laughs> yeah, it's like an old Sierra game, exactly. We lived together here for a couple years until I left. For a while, it was hard for me to stop calling it our apartment. I think of it as his apartment. I guess the same thing happens when the key that weighs, with the key that weighs in my pocket. It's no longer our key, it's his key. Why did I keep it all this time then? This time I will not take it home again. Ivan, are you okay? I can go in now. I'm sure he's okay. Positive thinking. Still a typical apartment of two movie fans. Well, only one now. Yep, things looking pretty good here. Someone broke the TV. I don't like this at all. Old book. I can only read pages one and nine. The others are blurred. It's pure esoteric nonsense. What did you get into, Ivan? The desiderium is sealed from the outside world by the sulfur symbol and a layer of lapis fictus, which is red and hard as diamond. It can only be dissolved by Oritsacho. To obtain Oritsacho, you need the acids of the Tartarus, tamed by iron and blessed by sunlight. Got it. All of that, it will be retained. Don't worry, I, I remember all of it. The study door does not open. It's sealed by this weird substance. At least it's not blood. It looks like some kind of very hard red wax. I remember I always wanted to sleep, leaving the curtains open to feel the morning light. He could not stand the sunlight on his face. That's why we always slept in absolute darkness like two vampires. This room could use some sunlight. <laughs> Shit his pants before you leave the apartment, says a chat member. 
th you know what? This kind of does remind me of Don't Shit Your Pants a little bit. I know this bed more than myself. It's another slow burn game. Yeah. Perhaps it is. But this is a demo, so again, don't expect this to be like this huge uh, kind of thing. Slow burn at 1 a.m. Let's go. We all know how impatient I get. Is that a butt plug? Trophies Ivan won for a short film were exhibited on this table. There's only one left. Something smells really bad. What? It's film. It's a short film Devour, the one we made in film school. Why did he burn it? The short is what he loves most in the world. Chemistry book with highlighted sentences. Tartaric acid is one of the key components used to alter colors in the developing process. Blood is another iron-rich substance. There's a developing chemical that needs to be kept in cold storage. I remember it was one of the most expensive. It's empty. It's shit. There's shit in the fucking... Do you ever think about that? If you put shit in the dryer? The kitchen counter is quite dirty. Chat, why haven't you thought about that? Cracked and there's blood in the glass. If you break it with a punch, he was never a violent person. This wrench looks heavy. Maybe I can use it for something. Trophies that he won for a short film are all dumped in the toilet. Among the shampoo and the lotions were some developing chemicals, specifically. Those that smell horrible. I haven't kept them here because he didn't want to contaminate the whole house. I won't touch them. That toilet has more awards than I do. Should leave this place and call the police? Yeah, but then the game isn't the game anymore. I mean, of course you're right. You know. Can't use this here. Window in living room? Oh, we need the blood because, yeah, to develop the, the stuff. We, we learned that a moment ago. believe I will use this blood. <laughs> it's dry. I don't know how to add it to the glass. Ouch. How stupid. I cut myself with the glass. Well, I guess my own blood will do. Is silly. Silly game. Can't use this here? It, is this not what we're supposed to be doing? Using the substance to melt that? 
Oh, oh, right, right, right. The light as well. That's what the book was saying that I told you I remembered all of it. The liquid in the glass turned into a strange color and gives off a lot of heat. I remember all of those words in order. Maybe those weren't just nightmares. What happened here? Is that red substance again? Hard as stone. Got the short film cans in this box. It's empty. The remote control for the TV, it's stuck to the table. I can see it has no batteries. Even so, TV is broken, so it's useless. No, it's the red substance, chat. I don't think he exploded. I have a sub cell phone. It's stuck to the floor by the red thing. The screen's cracked, but the phone might still work. I thought, you know, spontaneous combustion happens at least twice a year. These are the costumes we used in the short film. It's all over the place. There's some things missing. Looks like Ivan wrote it can't forget her no matter how hard I try I can't forget Julia ever since she left I do nothing but think about her and suffer her absence they promised me they would help me forget her they say the first step is to descend through the elevator to the lowest floor and forget me to move on with his life what have you done what kind of lunatics have you been messing with Ivan something on the floor locked. It has an engraved symbol. Suddenly, everything is different. Who opened the door? Whoa, what? Whoa, what? Oh. <laughs> oh. What? The thing looked like the creatures that gutted Ivan in my nightmares tried to kill me as they killed him. Is everything I dreamed real, or am I still dreaming? 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 There's a piece of meat where the creature was standing. Frayed up like rotten. I don't want to touch it. That was extremely unexpected. And actually kind of amazing. Yeah, that, that was the mind-blowing thing right there. I enjoyed that a lot. And the game itself was kind of neat. I mean, again, it's like Faith, like a Sierra game. Sure, it's point and click, but some decent atmosphere. And it was trying to build like a little bit of a world. Pretty good. Pretty good. Someone just said perfect length for Sunday, too. Good thing you didn't watch the trailer. I Yeah, dude, I that is excellent. That is excellent. Um, if I did, I forgot completely. So that was, that was totally unexpected for me. Really enjoyed. Um, I'm sorry to do this to you all again, chat, but I have another liminal space game. <laughs> It's called Dreamcore. 
And now we have to find out what's different from this game to all the other liminal games that have been developed over the past couple years. Oh, well, here's one thing it did wrong. It fucked with my resolution. I hate when games do this. Graphics. I'm trying, chat. I'm trying. I have to wait for it to load first, and then I can actually get in there. So, um, no idea why, why this game is switching my resolution or thinking I have some kind of, like, 4K... That's not 4K. Oh my god. So that, yeah, I can't, I can't even really, um... It's a slider. So... Very close to just not playing this. I'm going to try windowed mode and, and hope that that fixes the problem. I just have to wait. Like I said, I have to wait for the game to load in every time before I can even change an, an, or apply an option. So even though my mouse is hovering over it in XSplit, as you can see, it none of it worked. Yeah. This is the... maybe this is the horror. Maybe this is the game, chat. On window mode, windowed mode. Oh my god. Oh my god. I hit apply and I hit save, yeah. It's fake. Windowed mode is fake. Try a different PC, maybe. Okay. Oh, finally, now I can change my options. What a concept, chat. What a concept. Look at that. It, it took that long to be able to even change my options. So I'm already starting this game with a sour taste in my mouth. <laughs> it's the pools again. <laughs> Patience and observation, two things you don't have right now. Pretty much. Yeah, I am short on both patience and observation, so this is going to go swimmingly here in the dream pools. Just want to lower the sensitivity a little bit. So, okay, 
there have been so many of these liminal space games that I've played over the past couple years. We've seen the pools, we've seen the back rooms. What is this game going to do different? Well, for one, it's like we're recording on a camcorder chat. Holy crap, Lois. It's like we're watching a TV VHS. That's not new? What do you mean? I've never seen a VHS filter in a horror game before. What's that noise supposed to be? Is that supposed to be like the wind? Okay, listen, I'll be complimentary and say that the game looks fine. And if you glanced at this in 1999, you'd be like, that's where'd you get that video from? That's real video. But yeah, I mean, genuinely, I, I do like the liminal space shit. I do. I kind of like it better in Gmod, weirdly. Um, just something about the Source engine that does it for me. But, you know... There is some sick fascination I have with people continuing to make these types of games. Where I'm like, okay, you're gonna do a liminal space game. You got the pools. Alright, cool. Why? <laughs> What what is there left to do with the pools? <laughs> I mean it's it's nice to look at. What game did I play where I really liked? Was it at an Anomalopolis chat? Interior Worlds, and then there was one called Anim Anima. Alopolis, I believe. I don't know how to say it correctly, I'm sorry. But I enjoyed that one a lot. Someone said, honestly, this looks real to me. It's the, the filter really does do a good job at just shitting it up just enough for your your brain to just accept what you're looking at and the unreal engine is is quite good for a lot of um like especially water reflections like that looks amazing to me Just, yeah, this, that loop, that audio loop of, like, I think air getting onto the microphone of the camcorder is, um, is pretty bad. And it's such a short loop, and it's like, oh, we're not even moving that fast for air to get onto the microphone. <laughs> is it breathing? I'm waiting for Jumbo Josh. I know he's here somewhere. If anyone knows the Game Genie code for Jumbo Josh, please leave me a, um, a, a telegram. It's just... no. It's not worth it. This is 
pretty subtle compared to most other liminal space games. I mean, I give it credit for having restraint. Uh, I'm not really sure I'm... I'm, like, down to play much of this. Maybe give it another couple minutes. It's not like I need to see the Liminal Man somewhere in the distance, but seriously, someone should make a Liminal Man game. Chat, we had so many great ideas from chat members about the Liminal Man. I'm telling you, he could be the next Jumbo Josh. It's perfect. The name is good. The concept is good. Everyone loves Liminal shit right now. L Liminal Man could be a game that would take the world by storm. And sell three copies. Rubber Band Man could be there too. By right now, you mean 2021? Yeah. Time is... Time is a flat circle, Murph. It's not real. It's not real. It's not real. But, um... The restraint here is... Like, that you're just walking around in, like, dreams, maybe? And that you're not going to see a jump scare. Listen, I'm down for an abandoned mall game like anyone else. And I- <laughs> Oh, we got a red slide now! But I, I also- I do like to kind of see some weird stuff. That isn't just swimming pools. <laughs> Especially because we've done the pools in other games. It's been done so many times now. But, um, it's just very... The, okay, I, I know I'm just bitching, but hear me out. With an abandoned mall, you actually have to design the stores. You kind of have to give it that atmosphere. This is just, like, the same texture and water. One more room, chat. One more room. I know it's going to be a good one. Oh, here we go. We're on the cusp. Chat, we're cusping. Cusp responsibly, but we're on one. Actually, never mind. I take that back. We're... we're... It's another slide. <laughs> Alright, here. One more room. One more room. Maybe there's another texture somewhere in this. I just want- I want to see one more texture. Purple slide, that's a new texture. Oh wait, no. I think we've been in this room before. One more room, here we go, one more room. Ready? Here it is. It's bright this time. I hear a noise. Okay, so I heard some music. There's an arrow. The music was behind you? Did we loop back? I don't think... Did we? Well, hang on. This looks important. One more room. One more room. Here it is. The final room. 
it's a green slide this time. One more room. Chat. Did you see that? Chat, did, did you see that? In, in the corner? Wait, wait, wait. Li listen, you, you hear that? That noise. If this next room doesn't have music in it or a new texture, I'm quitting the game. That was bad. Body cam styled psychological horror game based on the aesthetic of liminal spaces. Oh yeah. Apparently there are puzzles. There are puzzles in the game. I like a good puzzle like anyone else really. Lore. Your. This is the road that homeless man directed me to. There should be a man who will pay well for me to fish at the abandoned Shinto shrine. Hello, good evening. Looking to make some extra scratch? Just take a rod and bring me a fish from the lake surrounding the Shinto shrine behind the van. No strings attached. As long as you ain't superstitious, then you should be fine. So go ahead. Thanks. Doesn't look like anyone's been here in years. Well, that was easy. Time to go see the old man. Here's the fish. Now show me the cash. Hmm, not so fast. Tell you what, bring me two more fish. You'll be rewarded generously. Fine, but you better pay me when I come back, old man. Someone just said, hook him in the eye. That was very quick of you to just immediately jump to hook him in the eye. Vinny, who are you going to vote for in the Minecraft mob vote? Hmm. Steve?
Yo, what the fuck? Let's try fishing somewhere else. Isn't this... This is all the same... Whoa. Whoa! <laughs> oh, that got me. That got me. I, I was just so caught off guard by that. Perfect Sunday stream game, by the way. Remember this? It's the Pumpkin Festival. It's back, everybody. So the uh, creator brought back the pumpkin game. And, um, you know, you can make your own. There's hats now. You have to pay for the hats. There's like a hat client. <laughs> of course, everything's hats. Everything comes down to hats. But I just thought I would check this out because they're, um, we've got 830 pumpkins submitted this season. And I remember last year, this is one of my favorite, like, Halloween themed games. Um, what should I make, chat? What should I draw? Gray Leno. I don't even know what Gray Leno looks like. I'm not much of an artist, as, as you know, so. The Mona Lisa. Oh, okay. Damn it. I'm going to make Norts real quick. Or try to. Oh, that's opposite of what I wanted to do. Yeah, that was, that was not Norts, was it? Um, forget the ring on the finger. <laughs> uh, I think you're thinking of the wrong thing. Fucked it.
I mean, eh. That'll that'll do. Um, let's see if I can visit the festival now. Already, already the ghosts are here. Oh, you got a little mushroom hat. What? Okay. Well, immediately, it took zero time whatsoever to find a pumpkin that made me feel terrible about mine. I'm with stupid. I might make this an every year tradition. I'm not sure. Just hop in, check out some pumpkins for a little bit. As long as the creator of this keeps, you know, um, is it Shrek? It's a, it's a Shrep, a Shrep. Um, as long as the creator keeps putting the server for this online, I don't see why I can't just do it. Place pumpkin. Nort. Um, let's see, where, where can we get Nort? Fart. <laughs> it's funny, why am I laughing at fart? Got a, such a really nice little atmosphere. Like, this is the kind of stuff, even though I didn't really particularly care for that cobweb movie, I do love a movie like Trick or Treat that has a Halloween atmosphere. Like, something that really just has that spooky vibe. I'm gonna find a good place for my Nort. Hmm. There we go. Placed shit. Oh, these are the ones I made last year. I don't even remember where I put them. There are aliens in the festival. Go find them. Why am I tiny? Oh, glitch pumpkin. Small. I don't know how to not be small anymore. Well, 
Wait a minute. When you're small, you can fly around. Um... Where are the aliens, though? People are saying go find the aliens. I think aliens would be more likely to be found inside of a corn maze. But maybe they're here. Let's take a look. Whoa. I wonder if you could place... Hang on, let me try to place my, my poop shroom somewhere around here. Oh, man. Hello. Yeah, no, I don't see any any aliens right. Oh, oh, there we go. I could place my terrible pumpkin here. <laughs> That's people's rewards now. Like they go through here to find stuff, and they only find a really shitty pumpkin that was made in less than two minutes. So I got mit I got lost in the maze. Algorithmically selected pumpkins. I'm back on Halloween night for a surprise. There's a lot more map than I thought there was. There's like so much. When all you need is just like a little area to place pumpkins. And there's there's like a, all these secrets and stuff. It's like a spooky town. Is that you, Nort? Aliens are real. Stop paying rent. I love that. <laughs> I love that. That's like the same kind of Nort, I think, because the, the nose. Yeah, that's the same face as, as a, a particular Nort that you can get. It might not be my specific Nort, but it is. It's his cousin, perhaps. Um... Are there more aliens? Is there like a UFO? Slip, snip up, heal up. Sub lane. That's a cool one. It's three D.
fake tunnel. Chat ghosts. You know, it's funny because um, I just picture that's what like chat is going to end up doing in the in the far future anyway. Except it's not going to be in a pumpkin game. Ride the hayride. I can see a ghost chat member saying, Oh boy, can't wait to see what my favorite streamer Vinny's doing. And I'm just taking a shit. Like, are you satisfied, chat member? Where are you taking the shit to? Ah, I see. Now that is the question. People don't ask. And for good reason, you fucking weirdo. <laughs> what must I boo? Take a look around just a little bit longer. I don't know if I'm going to end up playing this again. Maybe Halloween Day? There's a chance I would. But, um... We'll see. I know I have some interesting stuff for Halloween Day. Also, if you have... You, the, the chat, are aware of any particularly great Halloween or spooky games, please send them my way. Um, I like games themed around Halloween. Like the holiday itself. And I feel like we don't get enough of those. So if you're aware of any of those, vinesauce.email is the contact form. Please don't expect a reply because shit gets fucking packed. Uh. Play the guessing game. It could be any one of these pumpkins. It's that one. Nope. Try again. It's that one. You missed that one. Try another. This is crack. It's not cool. Ugh. Not based. Uh. Vinny, are you still planning on playing World of Horror this year? I, I am. Um, I'm going to be playing World of Horror. I believe it's getting an update on the 20th. So sometime after that. Whoa. Well, there's a spooky hayride. I didn't even know this existed. Congratulations, you survived the hayride of horror. I just got on, though. Like a Luigi shroom? I think it's a scared Luigi shroom. Have you seen this man? He owes me $82. It's a very specific amount of money. There's a little dick butt going on there. Don't worry about dick butt. There's a little dick butt.
think you walked past the Metal Gear pumpkin. Oh. The ghosts are in the way. Oh, yeah. Do you think love can bloom even on a pumpkin path? Yeah, from a little bit of... Does it say path? Pumpkin path? Um, with a little bit of distance, that looks really good. This is just like a cool thing to just be in and just look around at stuff. Like, even if you're not carving pumpkins, even if you're not looking at pumpkins, it's a, it's just a boss telling you to work late. <laughs> Oh, there's aliens! We found them! Yes! My people. Some good atmospherics. Good. Oh, well, we got a little uh, alien abduction. Oh, man, I should... Hmm... I like that there's pyramids here, too. I gotta place my Norton here somewhere. Perfect. Oh, that, that's exactly where Norton needs to be. That one alien has a knife. You would think with their technology, they don't need a knife to threaten people. They could just, like, phase them through a wall until they're dead. But no, even aliens use knives. This is just wonderful, you know? This is, this is great. I love this. It's a quantum unfuckulator. I like that the little fellers can fly too. Which, fuck this maze and everything it stands for because you could just fly up here. And that maze looks very complicated. Holy shit. I do have a pumpkin in that maze, yes. There is a, a little green spot here. Let's see what what is that? Oh, it's a cauldron. This pumpkin looks like it just ate like vigorously. What did it eat? I'll leave that up to you. But it's very messy. Messy pumpkin. You can click on the cauldron. No. Yeah, I mean, being a little ghost is, is highly advantageous. More games like this, please. But yes, this will be the end of the stream here. Kind of neat. This is what's going on there. Is that Majora's Mask and that's Clock Tower? Oh, that's so cool! You 
can only award one badge per day. Well, this this gets mine. You can turn on actual pumpkin names in settings. Pumpkin names generated real. Oh, see other ghosts. Yeah, disable world intro. Termina. Oh, that makes sense. Okay. Yeah. Self-portrait pumpkin. Boo. Yeah, that's to prevent people from, like, joining this and seeing a pumpkin named shit. Which, you know... How dare. How dare you. No one uses that word. That's a bad word. Hell is full. John Ultra Kill. <laughs> Well, I'll tell you what, I love Halloween. It is a consolation prize for the weather getting shitty, but I love Halloween, and uh, it is it is nice. It is very, very nice to play a game like this and enjoy the spirit of the season. So, yeah, thank you for watching. Um, I know some of the horror stuff maybe I was a little impatient with, or I just wasn't feeling, and I'm sure there's a whole lot more interesting stuff that has eluded me up until now so um i'm just going to continue doing spoopy games little by little maybe there will be some pre-records and um we'll just continue amnesia this week coming up dead space will begin when amnesia is finished whenever that may be uh silent hill 4 i don't have any plans for this year but that will probably be next year i would i would imagine Uh, are you streaming tomorrow? Um, I don't know yet. Probably not. But anyway, thanks for watching. Again, definitely let me know if you have any uh, games that you're like into that are good Halloween games. And um, I will see you all soon. Uh, th thanks for being here tonight, chat. It's been it's been a lot of fun. And uh, I love doing these streams, and I'm just happy that you're here to watch and hang. So, always a good time. See you, uh, see you during the week. Do some Amnesia, some Armored Core, Cyberpunk, and uh, what else was I playing? Anything? Oh, yeah, I got to play the RoboCop game. That might be a pre-record. So, yeah. All right, see you later. Someone said, what is the top tip for the day? It's this. Mm -hmm.